Good morning and welcome to another day, a miserable day in Berwick. Raining as usual, so I'm in the garage. Thanks for joining me. My name is Dave and today is snorkel unboxing day so without further ado let's get on with it what i'll do today is i'll unbox a new snorkel i've found the old intake air intake and the the bad part of the snorkel i have fitted what i'm going to do is show you the difference so hopefully you won't make the same mistake right let's get on i'll just put my knife away because it's pretty sharp okay so the first thing we see when we get in there is the box probably all the bits and pieces what else do we have we've got a template so what the template does is it fits you can see where it goes around the aerial and fits up against the edge of the door and shows you where to drill the holes etc on the car hopefully it's pretty much the same as the one I've got and it looks like it might be so that's good so there's a couple of bikes in here so Here's the first one, they're on wheel dish. And there we go. There's the side piece. Let's have a look at this and compare it up to the uh, one that's already on there. Pretty much the same thing. And the next pack is this. This is the key element. So that's your side piece. This is the bit that goes. So this connects to this here like so. Bolts together. And that runs up the inner wing and goes through the hole in the side of the inner wing into the air box. And it connects straight in. This is the component you would get when you have the wrong one. And as you can see, it does not fit on that at all. Don't fit together. It's for ah, a different, different car. Different. Right, let's have a look in this box, see what we've got in here. I'm hoping the head's so, in here. There's the head of the snorkel, and it is with Safari written on it. Got the instructions and a bag. And then the box is empty. So we've got a kit list, parts list on the front. We've got brackets and uh, amounts and all uh, sorts. Oh, we've got a warning on the second page. I'll read it to you. It says, warning. It is an installer responsibility to verify all components and particularly the template are correct before starting any part of the snorkel installation check the template against the snorkel body we can do that and then we've got instructions on how to fit and it says approximately 220 minutes we need an 89 millimeter hole saw sensor safe sealant and a step drill a few more instructions and uh, then the drawing with all the parts numbered that correspond with the numbers on here so, like, item number one says body snorkel. So there's item number one, and there's a the body snorkel. All right, so let's have a look at that. Uh, let's do what it says. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the template and the snorkel main body. So what we should have is that. All the holes should line up, and they do. So there's the groove for the aerial, that's the hole and that's the hole and then there's a hole in the centre there for that one. So that is the correct template. And we know it's the correct template for the car because we've been up and up it up. Now I'm in a unique situation where I'm not fitting this from scratch. I'm fitting this from, I'm taking an old one off and putting a new one on. So I don't really particularly want to do it in the rain and also I can't find my old resonator. I don't know what I've done with it, so I'll have to find that first. But basically what we're going to do here is I'm remaking the snorkel video. All my videos are way too large, so I've reduced the quality down to HD and the frame rate as well. So hopefully this will be better. So what are we going to do today? What we're going to do is we're going to look at this, the old snorkel. I'm in the middle of doing the job. I can't get my hands in behind and wait for Rob to come and help me with that. However, what I have got is um, the car in pieces. So this is the hole here, ready for the new snorkel to go in. The air box has been removed, it's out here. So we've, we've got that access to that area down there to get into the wing. You can see the hole there. And uh, 
one important thing is to remove those clips off the air filter box housing before you remove it because they'll fall into the engine compartment and you'll never find them. Let's look at the problems with snorkels. Hopefully you can see it that. So here is the snorkel I had on the car. So you can see it's a Stipa A. Alright, it's, it's, it's a similar snorkel to what the Safari snorkel is, okay? Now this part is good. This part here is, it fits fine. That's okay, because that's pretty standard part for both the petrol and the diesel. Now before I show you the rest, this is the original air intake for your car. This goes into the resonator in the airbox. And this sits in the inner wing. Now you can see from that there that if you were to go cover that with water, that's going to fill up pretty quick and you're going to get a lot of water in there. So that is one reason why we use the snorkel. You have to bear with me a moment here because the part I'm going to show you I have modified. Now this is the part that came with the original snorkel. Okay, this is the part that goes on the inner wing and this part here is bits I've added to make it fit. What the problem was is you're supposed to use this. Now this is too long. I've, I've had to cut that down and I'll post it, I'll put a video, uh, a picture in there to show you by how much. It was probably about yeah much I had to cut it down by. I've had to put all this system on it here to try and seal it. Well it, I managed to seal it okay but it's it's another point of failure. So I've got all the nuts and bolts in here. Let me just take them out because I've taken this off. This part here sits in the inner wing. And that part there pokes through and, and joins together with that. Okay. Then this comes down and goes in through the hole in the side of the car. Now the problem being that this is a, a, a piece of Bunnings hardware. As is this and this. Which I needed to use, all use all of those to get this to line up properly. So this is a resonator and this part sits in here let me just show you properly so it attaches to the airbox like so with like a rubber housing and it, and it fits on there the problem we have is that I had to remove that to get this to work at all and I had to remove this because that would not fit to it. This, that's supposed to go through your inner wing and connect, is way too big there and doesn't, and it's too small there. But it doesn't line up. You can't get that through the wing and line it up because this is designed for a petrol V6 airbox and not a straight through connection for this. And I'll show you what I mean because I've got the Safari one here. This is a Safari snorkel, right? And this, this, this is pretty much identical to that. However, this part, as you can see, is completely different. Okay, it's the correct length. I've already had it in there and it worked perfect. It is the correct length for what we're trying to do. And if I get the resonator, you will see, uh, when I get in the right orientation there, that that fits on that resonator properly. It's not loose, it's not large, it's not the wrong size, it's perfect. So that piece there, if you see a snorkel with that, don't buy it because it's not for the diesel. Tell them it's the wrong snorkel. Right. I've also, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description that take you to a video on you, a couple of videos on YouTube that explain this when they're fitting it. They explain it and they even show it with a V6 airbox and why it doesn't work. So there's your um, information of what the dangers are about buying these snorkels on the likes of eBay and, and uh, places like Amazon. And even, even some of the online sites have got the wrong snorkel because and the reason, it's not their fault, per se, but they won't listen when you tell them. And the reason is, is because there's a bit of software that ties up 
um, parts for your car with your model of car. And you see it on a lot of eBay sites, when you go into the description, they'll have it there and they'll say, put your car details in and it tells you whether it fits or not. And it says it, it does, but it doesn't fit. It's not for your car. So mark my words, if you buy it, you'll have a lot of fudging to do. So what happens when you fudge it? You can get it to work as I do, but instead of having two joints, one into the airbox and one into the, where the snorkels join, you've got four failure points. You've got the one into the airbox that you've made, you've got the one where that joins into the tube that comes into the car, and you've got the break in the tube, and then you've got the bit where the two join together. So that's four points of failure. Twice as many um, failure points means more chance of letting water in and more chance of your hydro locking your engine and destroying it. Have a look at the videos in the description. Make your own mind up and buy what you think. But I, I'm, I can guarantee you, if you're listening to my advice, buy the Safari Snorkel from ARB because it will fit. Now, I will go through fitting the snorkel because it isn't easy. And it's, uh, you've got to have really thin fingers and I'll show you why. I'm going to keep the unboxing part of the video, which is probably you've probably already seen because I'll put it in front of this. Um, but because I don't want to do the unboxing again. Basically what you get when you get a new snorkel is a, is a, um, is a template. So here's the, here's the template and that should tie up with the aerial and the indicator. Okay. And you tape it on. I'm using masking tape because you don't want to damage your, um, your paintwork probably. I don't really mind, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I apologize if you can hear the dog barking in the background. We've got some neighbors across the street and I think they must go to church or something on a Sunday morning. And they must put their dog outside and it yaps and yaps and yaps until they come back. Surprised nobody's been and done anything to it at the time. But anyway, back to the snorkel. The template's now in place. The holes are lined up here and here and here, as you can see. And I know it all fits because I've, I've already done it. I've already drilled it for the bracket. There's the old one up there. I filled the old holes with silicon, but they'll be hidden. There's the new bracket already fitted. You put the template on, you drill a couple of pilot holes through here. Then you drill a pilot hole through there. Then you remove your template. Once you've drilled the holes, that's all that's for, is for getting them holes in the right place. You then drill these out now. They're drilled to 8mm. I think that that is a 89mm hole, is what you have to drill there. So you'll need a hole cutter. Now when you get a hole cutter, make sure you buy one. It'll do metal as well as wood or whatever. Um, you can buy them and do everything. But you need a metal one, obviously, because if you don't want a wood one, it'll just wear the teeth down. Now, this is the daunting part. You've got to drill holes in your car. So you drill these holes and you drill this hole. You get your hole cutter out and you do that. Make sure you, you get rid of the sharp edges off this, and it will still cut you even though you've deburred it. All right, now I'm in a unique position where I'm replacing a snorkel where you'll be cutting holes in your car. Once you've cut these three holes and them two holes for this, you are done. So what this is here, these are also 8mm holes, and then you push two plastic things in and you screw these screws into that, and that holds that rock solid. Pretty good, actually. And the next thing you do after this is you insert the studs into here, because these studs come separate. Now I stud lock those in, I've used thread lock on it, and they won't move, because you don't want them coming loose. But as you can see at the back there, is you're in a wing. You can't really see it there, but you can see it through there. And getting your hand up there to get the, the nut on the, the, the seat, the problem is, is there's two washers and a nut. And you've got to get them all onto the stud. So Rob's done it before, he's going to come and help me out with it. The problem is I've got a broken finger and I've got a damaged arm. So both my arms are really not in a good, good position to be doing this. Unfortunately he's gone out for lunch so I've got to wait till he gets back. But it gives me time to do this video. So once you've done that... You then come into here, and if I can show you somehow, uh, you put the rubber grommet around there. That, that rubber grommet there is this, this rubber grommet on the drawing here. Now I've already put that in place, and that's to stop the plastic part here getting damaged. This doesn't matter because this is clamped, but that's not clamped down there. 
and it goes on there just to stop any damage so that's on there and then we'll fit the resonator back on i'll have to redo something with these these cables we'll get the resonator on and then once the resonator's on we'll get the air box in place all sealed up put in and ready to go when it comes to sealing safari recommend permatex ultra black i don't know if that's going to work that well because this part down here is in the engine bay and i don't know how hot it's going to get that could be an issue and it's worth um having to think about it now when i've done research online the other the other product was sikaflex 227 i've got some of that now the one thing i can't find on this is its temperature range it doesn't really give you a temp operating temperature range but i'm sure it will be okay it's got to be something similar to the permatex which is not very high so what i actually discovered was permatex make a, a product called the right stuff now the right stuff is gasket maker as is the ultra black now the reason that safari recommend the ultra black is because it's sensor safe and it's fairly cheap its temperature range is, is about 80 degrees centigrade now 80 degrees centigrade is a lot you won't be able to touch your air box if it was 80 degrees centigrade and i've never been in there and had to touch the air box at 80 degrees centigrade however i have this stuff this is the right stuff permatex the right stuff black gasket maker and it says on here somewhere sensor safe but i know because i've used this on exhaust components that this will work up to 300 degrees 180 or something like that now we use that the right stuff on the rocker cover gasket and it works really really well i was going to use it for this but i, I thought i'll get the sicker flex now the reason i picked the sicker flex was that that is 32 dollars for that big tube that permatex one that half tube i've got there is about 70 dollars and the permatex in the tube that was quarter a third of the size of that was 30 34 dollars or something like that so that is a cheaper option i did buy a corking gun to go with it but that's all i bought so those those two together now <laughs> i'm terrible i go to what i should be banned from aldi because i come away with all sorts of stuff i went into autobahn and bought myself a grinder now look at that it's a good old-fashioned old, old school solid metal grinder the guy said to me he says he says this has been here longer than me and i've been here 12 years he says we've never sold it he says so it's on sale and it was 97 dollars so i bought it i thought 97 dollars for an old school grinder you can't argue with that so i bought it so when rob eventually moves out i'm going to mount it to the workshop bench and i'll have myself a grinder so what i why i mentioned why i mentioned uh aldi was because look that's a bandsaw this is a drill press that's an aldi compressor i just uh can't help myself i see these tools and i want to buy them so i should be banned from aldi i'm told by my son anyway so you've right. got the lay down of, of the snorkel the differences and what you should be looking for when you buy one and how to fit it and how hard it is to do there will be some more video of when we actually do the fitting just be careful when you when you go out and buy one because i would hate for you to uh, buy the wrong thing enough to sort of modify it and then get water in your engine and hydrolock your engine because your engine will be dead if you're running at any speed when you hydrolock your engine and it stops dead it'll bend valves it'll bend conrods it'll bend everything you don't want to do that don't get water in in the first place do yourself a favor spend a bit of money and get the safari snorkel right i'll see you when we do the uh, fitting right so we've uh, we've fitted the snorkel he's got the nut and bolt through rob did that for me what a start i don't know how i've managed without him really if i had one bit of advice get yourself some black nitrile gloves because it is a bit of silicon is a messy job and i don't have any silicon on my hands so it's a bit dirty but that's done before so there's the snorkel fitted it's uh, tightened up here 
the bolts are tightened up on the back and this is tightened up here so it's siliconed into the um, into there that bit of roller tape just wedging it in it's siliconed in there it's siliconed and it's fastened in there the screwdriver is there to hold it in place so it doesn't move the air box is bolted in and I'm missing the seal I don't believe it but I'm missing the seal for the air box so where the resonator fits to the air box the seal is missing can't find it all right so it's been a couple of it's been a couple of hours now and uh, everything started to skin over I've put the uh, I put the snorkel top on because that's sealed up there now it's it's settled down and it's all good that's nice and tight that's on I've decided to put it on forward because my son convinced me otherwise we'll see how that goes these are tightened up now so that's all good you can't see the old holes they're hidden by the bracket and the snorkel so that's good sealant down there started to skin over and uh, hopefully that will work I've got to find that rubber seal for the end of there though I don't know what I'm going to do with that apart from that we're all looking good okay so I'm going to end the video here I'll reassemble the rest of it tomorrow I'll have to maybe go down to Lang Warren again and see if I can get the rubber seal off the end of that um, resonator that I bought they may uh, sell me it they may not they may let me have it I'll go in and see them and say look I forgot to pick up the rubber seal they may just say I'll go in and get it they may not I might charge me again but anyway it's my own fault so 